Prodigy's Peddler, Peddler, sales, sales record 368. Three, six, eight. Moving out again. Took, took a while for the rain to stop, but we're on our way. Been walking for the last day or so. Hope we don't get caught in rain again before we reach Megamart. The last thing I want to do is try to get the water out of all the stuff on the wagon. Not fun. Unicorn still hasn't woken up, just keeps mumbling. Something about him just don't rub me right. The Sunbeam was able to get him to drink, don't ask me how. Purified some rainwater in those tablets of hers. Bit of a waste, really. Those damn things are rarer than a smile in a slave colony, and she uses them like they fall from the sky. I haven't been sleeping well lately. Makes the journey all that much harder. Taking an old shortcut through the remains of a town. No pony bothers me when I walk through it. I guess they're superstitious. Admittedly, it's a bit creepy. All the posters from a time long gone. Eyes still staring at you through 200 years of decay. Never thought a pink pony could look so disturbing. Ah, well, if any ghosts want a word with me, I'll tell them my prices. Let Sunbeam pick the music again. Usually keeps her quiet. And admittedly, the song don't make my ears bleed like I was afraid it would. Some jazzy thing. Thought it'd be blue is considering the name. I think he's getting better. He doesn't look as bad as yesterday. Well, when he can help pull, you just give me a call, right? You don't have to be so morose all the time, you know. It's not his fault he's like this. We can only hope he wakes up soon. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I hope the same thing. He's dead weight till he does. It's dangerous to be out here with a pony who can't defend himself. Well, what if I were to be in charge of his defense? Would that make you feel any better? You? I can't see you defending a daisy, frankly. <laughs> well, if I remember correctly, I saved your life not too long ago. I can defend myself. You shot a ratter at near point blank. Ain't the same with raiders, they- I'll have you know I've met raiders, and I am well aware of how different they can be without you reminding me. Wait, y you? Raiders? When? A while ago. And that is all I care to say on the matter. Now, how far are we from Megamart? A little more than a day. Might make it tomorrow evening if nothing gets in the way. And from what I've gathered, they have machinery there. Megamar? Yeah, damn near anything you can want. Guns, gadgets, whole mess of it. Perfect! And what do you want with machinery? Just trying to get home. And home is... Far away. Now, um, let's move forward, shall we? What's this place called? <sighs> well, far as anyone could tell, this was a town of Cult Forge. Don't know much about it other than it was a war town. Got wrapped up in the propagandas and such, as you can see by looking around. There's some good scrap to be had in these shops behind all the war bond posters and ministry mayor bobbleheads. Most of these buildings look untouched. Nobody wants to come through here. It's a bad memory and damn creepy to boot. My guess is most of the residents were paranoid, built the building strong, for all the good it did them. Still, the place is mostly intact. Mr. Peddler? <clears throat> Prodigious peddler? Yes? What will you do when we reach Megamart? <sighs> do some trading, as per usual. Got a booth held there on account of being a drinking buddy with the owner. And afterwards? Same thing I always do. Head to the next town and trade some more. I am a trader, you know. You don't have a home? Funny. Thought I asked you the same question and never got an answer. In any case, when we reach Megamart, you and I will be parting ways. Oh, well, yes, of course. Don't tell me you're surprised. I I'm not. Honestly, the only thing I'm surprised about is that you haven't abandoned me before now. What? Well, you're always complaining about me. I've been sleeping lightly in case you tried to sneak off, but you never have. Why? <sighs> because I'm trying to make an honest living. That's so hard to believe? Excuse me if those who take the honest route seem few and far between. Well, I'm one of them. Look, you paid for passage out of flank when I was sent out to Megamart. Therefore, seeing as how you haven't tried to kill me yet, our business ain't concluded till we reach Megamart. Got it? Got it. Good. Now come on, ain't long now. Dreamer? What's up with him now? I don't know. Maybe he's having a nightmare? What? <laughs> On the car, now! Under the scrap, don't move! <laughs> Damn! 
Damn, where the hell did that come from? If we had to stop. Oh no. No, 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 no. You missed, you idiot. Ain't my fault. I had them in my sights. This thing's just a piece of junk. Who are, Who are those guys? guys? Ain't Raiders. Raiders, Raiders don't, don't have, have missile launchers. Wouldn't have set, set up here anyway. Hire uh, guns? Uh, what the hell would they be after me for? for? No time for questions. Those things take a while to reload. Where's my revolver? Ah! That just slowed down. Damn, I thought this place was safe. Still, don't mean I haven't got a thing or two prepared. I don't get familiar with a place without knowing a few good places to hold up. Where are we going? Somewhere with better cover. I told you to stay down. There it is. The War Museum of Cult Forge. It used to be a mine. The damn place is like a maze. And most importantly, it's got a back door. Hold on! The cart's not gonna fit through the doors. Oh well, guess we'll have to make the entrance a little bigger. Damn, this thing is heavy. Still, at least with it behind me, they can't shoot me in the back. Can't fire that rocket launcher while running with any kind of accuracy either. Bet they ain't got too much ammo for that thing. They're not gonna want to waste it. They're a ways behind. Gotta get somewhere safe. Catch my breath. Five doors. I'll take the one on the left. We. Children's area of the war museum. They'll hear you. Gotta make it to the back exit through the mine. Better turn that damn music off. Makes it too easy to find. Okay, I think I can help. You? Yes, me. Have you got any spark batteries in here? Yeah, towards the bottom. Found them. Wait here. Wait. Where are you going? He shot me! Well, what'd you expect? You're gonna get shot if you can't aim straight. Now shut it, he just grazed you. If anything, it prettied up your face. Stop whining and come on. Great, they'd have to guess this door. Ah oh, well, good thing I stocked up on bullets. I gotta make this one count. Are you sure they went down this way? One. Your guess is as good as mine, but hey, it's a start. If we want a payday, we gotta look somewhere. Two. Where's that wagon they were pulling? They must have dished it. Come on. Three. There he is. Ah! Knives. And now, now it's, it's time, time to run. Get back here. This is Needlepoint. They're trickier than you told us. You said it'd be easy to grab her. Get us reinforcements right the hell now. And bring a healing potion. Great. He's called more of them. Oh, where the hell did that filly run off to? This ain't no time to split up for Celestia's sake. What in the world? Hello, patron of the Ministry of Moral Equestrian Military Museum. We hope you're enjoying your stay. Welcome to the current events section, where you will learn all about what Equestria is doing to keep you safe from those Celestia Forsaken Stripes. <laughs> Please proceed to the Hall of Soldiers as directed by your lovely Torbot. Hello, small child. Would you like to learn about Equestria? What? I found the fuse box, the jerry pokery, and I got the machine on. It should be harder for them to hear and track us. Huh. Good thinking, actually. Thank you. Hello, little cult. Do you like weapons? Uh... Did you have to turn them all on? If you do, I can show you how to make a lovely rug from the height of your defeated striped enemy. <laughs> Shit, time to move. They got more coming. On the wagon, head down. Now, children, don't run in the museum. That is a one-way ticket to Stripe Depression. Welcome to the Hall of Heroes. Here we have Pipsqueak, lead espionage expert, known as the Fox of the Trottingham Field. His quest is to find ways to spirit secrets from the evil country of Zebrica. His latest assignment, codenamed Moonlight, promises to really stick it in their striped flanks. Go, Pipsqueak, go! Here we have his bandana and briefcase. Look upon the objects of a hero to Equestria. It's him. It's him. It's really him. Stop it. Get down. Wait a moment. I have to see this. Ah, interested in the Pipsqueak exhibit, little cult. A great hero, isn't he? A true example of the Equestrian ideal. A stallion among stallions. Working to smite the... Hey, I must insist you not touch the exhibits. Got it. You're risking your life for a briefcase? It's Pipsqueak's briefcase? Never mind, we gotta go! Come back! Oh, you are so getting oppressed! Great, of all the people you pick up, I get a fangirl. 
Need a point call from here. Come on, we'll head them off. Damn it. They're coming through the exit, too. We're trapped in here. Looks like this is gonna turn to more of a fight than I wanted. Hold on, we're taking a detour. Detour? Welcome to It's a Pony's World. You must be at least this tall to ride. Learn about the wonderful world of equestrian life and how stripes want to destroy all you hold dear. Please buckle your seatbelt and enjoy. Okay, so I've got a wagon full of scraps, a rusty tool bottle, a revolver, and a filly who probably can't fight her way out of a paper bag. They went this way! Little filly, I really must insist you buckle your seatbelt. Damn good advice. Good evening, Equestria. That was Rhapsody in Blue. Peddler was played by Dragonite. Sunbeam was played by Starry Flame. The announcer was played by Random along with the Tourbot. The mercenaries were played by Dalkin, Starbeam, and Maravex. And this little ditty was written and directed by Squeak. Many thanks to KCAT, the original author of Fallout Equestria, the Fallout Radio Group, and the Fallout Equestria General on slash MLP. Keeping it light when the wasteland's at its darkest. Till next time, good night.